Bebot, bebot, bet, bebot, bebot, bet, bebot, bebot, bet. Ikaw ang ating bebot, bebot, bet, bebot, bebot, bet, bebot, bebot, bet. Ikaw ang Filipino, Filipino, Filipino. Hoy pare, pakinggan nyo ako. Ito na ito na na Filipino. Galing sa barrio na pabato. Pumunta ng LA magtrabaho para makatulong sa nanay dahil sa hirap ng buhay. Yeah, yo. Pero masaya pa rin ang kulay. Yeah. At kumain, nagkakamay. Yung bahay, chicken adobo. Yung balo binibenta sa kanto. Tagay mo na nga ang baso. Pare ko, inuman na tayo. Filipino, Filipino, eh. To me, boxing is is something that I grew up with, and it's pretty much my life. It's something that that has given me everything that I have. This fight is more of getting to the next level of my dream. He won at one twelve, fifteen, eighteen. This will be his fourth different weight class, world championship. We're in a real fight. Wilfredo Vasquez is a hell of a fighter. I feel Norito's on a different level. It's uh, just one of those fighters that you don't see very often, but uh, I do expect a real fight. <laughs> the Twitter drama started um, when uh, Vasquez's wife T directly twittered Nonito, and she said, you're scared, I'll see you there. It was a bit awkward because she was talking crap when her husband hasn't spoken a word of animosity yet to Nonito. It became so muddy. Now it's a racial thing between the camps. Uh, when we were going to take a picture, he came up to me really close and flipped my head. I didn't know what the heck he was gonna do. So I pulled his hat down and he grabbed my hat and tossed it. At that moment, I was just kind of waiting for him to hit me. And I had my, my arms here and I was ready to go. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Is there anything about Vasquez that you can calculate in advance? He's the type of person and a fighter that is uh, a textbook. I mean, the kid doesn't respect anybody. He came up to me yesterday, and I've never been this pissed off before in my life. How did he piss you off? He engaged me, you know, and he threw my hat away. I mean, when Robert came up to, to stop him, some, what did he say, Robert? He challenged me also. Yeah, he challenged him also. To me, that's so disrespectful. So you think that he's trying to get you he's trying off to. your game in some way to be mad at him because yes, you are mad exact, at him? That's exactly what he's trying to do. There's a time when I used to make 112 after gaining so much weight. And what happened was I started to pee blood because I was cutting down so much. The last fight, I lost about 16 pounds, actually. How, does I, how do I feel? I feel, I feel like the, the whole world hates me and I just want chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Weighing in first from Bayamon, Puerto Rico, Wilfredo Papito Vasquez Jr. on the scale. So that was a bit of a surprise. You know, we are expecting him not to make weight, but he made his weight, which is good. 121.6, 121 and one half, the official weight for the three-time world champion. My body just, the only thing it wants to accept is, is to be in that ring. I'm ready to go. I hate to give predictions, but I think it's got a real chance to go the distance. I think it's gonna be a real solid fight. Round one begins, and you heard what Donaire said about wanting vengeance for what he saw as disrespect at the news conference. I don't care about the belt. I don't care about the money. I just want to knock him out. Hard right hand by Vasquez, his best punch of the fight so far. And it's a little bit more even fight now as we exit the fifth. Right. 
time he's been down. First time Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. has been down in his professional career. Robert Garcia has now told our interpreter, Jerry Olaya, that Nonito Donaire has hurt his right hand. And so perhaps that affects the question of whether he tries for a knockout here. For everyone who's been so excited about the prospects of what Donaire can do at featherweight, for instance, at 126, did his inability to knock out Vasquez raise questions at 122? Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, the winner by split decision, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire! Well, there was one fascinating scorecard there. Two guys have 117, 110, and one guy's got 115, 113 the other way. I knew instantaneously that uh, something was wrong. My hand was just throbbing. Well, the doctor said I probably fractured both knuckles. If it didn't happen, I would have definitely been able to take him out. For the title in four different weight divisions, very few can say that they've ever done that, and he's one of them, so he's made history. My peoples are here, and then I'm happy, number four. Just gotta go back to the drawing board and make it happen again.